it has been really uh, quite uh, satisfying for me to, to put in this program. Uh, we have now 18,000 students who's going to, uh, to high school and to colleges. And basically, we, we have operators in Lebanon, in Jordan, and some in the UAE. We give them the criteria who, uh, who qualify for this program, and we ensure that they deliver, they deliver the education system. We monitor, we have a monitor guy going from school to school. And basically, we are targeted nine, ninth grade to 12th because we find these are very vulnerable. So we targeted those kind of students. Then once they graduate, we put them into more of a technical colleges and make sure these people can have, you know, some skills when they go back to real life, can have a job. Uh, I'm happy to say most 80% of our students from the, from the colleges get their job offer before graduation. You see the impact that your foundation, your fund has on them. Is it hard for you to understand politically and with the leadership that creates these wars and conflicts and leaves these children without anything? It's hard for me to see this happening in our region. Uh, I always thought these people have no role to play. Why should they be penalized? I mean, uh, while politics can sort out their issues, but I think we should always make sure this young generation are not left behind without proper education because our future scientists are from this group of people. If they miss the education uh, time, they could be in the street, they could be causing trouble in the, in the society, they could be a terrorist, they could be doing anything else to support their living. Thank you for watching and for more from CNBC International, just hit the subscribe button.